video, we're going to look at how to partition a directed line segment. So we'll start off with what is the definition of a directed line segment? So it is just a segment where we'll call it AB. Um, it's a segment that represents moving from point A to point B along this segment. So what we're going to do is use slope, so the slope of the line, to find a point on a directed line segment that partitions the segment into a given ratio. So it's going to basically split the segment into some parts, right? So maybe three parts and two parts, one part to four parts, something like that. All right, so the ratio that they want us to use is going to be given to us. So we're going to look at two examples, one where we can see the segment on a graph, and one where they just give us a couple coordinates and the given ratio that they want us to partition, okay? So let's look at example one. Example one, we have the graph. It says, find the coordinates of point R along the directed line segment AB so that the ratio of AR to RB is three to five, okay? So the first thing that we wanna do is find the slope, okay? So remember, M is our, slope, or our variable for slope. And since we have a graph, we can do rise over run. So, <clears throat> I'm going from point A to point B. So rise at this point would be going down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I went down, so I'm gonna represent that with a negative eight. And now my run, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We went to the right, so we're gonna represent that with a positive 12. So that's the first step we wanna do um, in partitioning. Now that we have the slope, Remember this is our rise and this is our run. Okay, so that's gonna be helpful for us. Now what we wanna do <clears throat> is look at our given ratio. Okay, so it's three to five. Well, three to five um, would be three parts to five parts, so eight parts total. And we wanna put our point R along this line starting from point A, right? So from point A to point B, as we are going down our line, um, we want to run into point R, right? So we're starting from point A. So look at the coordinates of point A. We have negative four, five, okay? So our ratio is three to five. So three eighths of the way down this line, we want point R to be located, right? Three eighths of the way, three to five, okay? So eight parts total, three over eight would get us to point R. So we're gonna take that fraction, three over eight, and we're gonna take three eighths of the run, and we're gonna add that to our X coordinate. We're gonna take three eighths of the rise, and we're gonna add that to our Y coordinate of point A, and that'll get us to point R. Okay, so let's start with our um, run. Okay, because run is gonna give us our X coordinate, right? Left and right. So we want to add three eighths of our run. Okay, our run here is 12. Okay, so three eighths of 12. Okay, so we're gonna multiply that because of means multiply. So this is gonna give us 36 over eight. And so now we can reduce that, right? So 32 over eight would be four and we would have four left. So this is gonna be 4.5. Okay, so now we're gonna take 4.5 and we're going to add it to negative four. All right, so we'll write point R up here. So far point R, negative four plus 4.5 is gonna give us 0.5, okay? So now to find the Y coordinate of our point R, we're gonna add 3 eighths of the rise to our Y coordinate of point A. So we're gonna do rise now. So 3 eighths of and now we're gonna do negative eight. So three eighths of negative eight, and this would be negative 24 over eight, which would be negative three, okay? And so now we're gonna take negative three, and we're gonna add it to five. So five plus negative three would be five minus three, and we get two. So we have found the coordinates of our point, and so now we can plot this on our line. So we have um, half and one, two. So that point would be right there. And this would be point R, 0 0.5 comma two. All right, so as you can see, R is three eighths of the way down that line segment, starting at point A and going towards point B. 
okay? Let's do one more where we don't have a graph, okay? So once again, we want to find the coordinates of point P this time <clears throat> along the directed line segment AB so that the ratio of AP to PB is 4 to 1, okay? So 4 to 1, that's 4 parts to 1, so 5 parts total. And going from point A, we want to go 4 fifths of the way down this line, okay? So let's start with our slope, right? We're going to do, we could, we could label our points here, x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So y2 minus y1, so we get 4 minus 3, and then we do 8 minus 1. Okay, so this gives us 1 over 7 for our rise over our run. All right, so once again, we're going to start from point A, and we're going to go to point B. Okay, so starting with point A, let's start with our run. We're going to add 4 fifths of the run to our x coordinate of point A. Okay, so we're going to take four fifths of the run. Okay, so four fifths of seven. <clears throat> so now this is going to give us 28 over five. And this would reduce 25 over five would be five, right? And we have three fifths left, so we could say that's 5.6. Okay, so now we're going to take 5.6 and we are going to add it to one. So this is point P. So far we have 6.6 .6 as our X coordinate, 6.6, .6. okay? Now we're gonna do the rise. We're gonna take four fifths of the rise, which was one, and that is just four fifths. And as a decimal, it is 0 0.8. So now we can add 0 0.8 to three, and we get 3.8. So our point P would have the coordinates of 6.6 comma 3.8, and that is how you partition a directed line segment.